okay, let me introduce you like this very important enlargement that's supposed to happen in your paper two. Okay, paper two, but of course it will happen in your paper one as well. Uh. It's just that paper one, uh, the, the way they ask is a bit different, uh, okay? So before I start this question, I read the whole thing, uh, the whole thing, pula, whole thing, everything, okay? So I'm gonna introduce like this enlargement thing one more time to you. And everybody knows, everybody knows, enlargement wise, okay, let me write it by the side of it. I put like two sides so uh, you can see it. You know that when I talk about enlargement, I always say that, okay, when you talk about enlargement, right? you know there is scale factor, where scale factor, I've been using the alphabet S equals to I per O, and some of you might say teacher K, right? Uh, so you know K, it's image divided by object's length, right? Okay, then of course, the second thing will be your so-called COE. What is COE? Center of enlargement. So these are the two things that you need when you talk about enlargement, but why suddenly I talk about enlargement instead of like the rotation given inside? Okay, because because I always laugh at this kind of question, you know. Back then, like, few, few, like, okay, like, 10 years ago, like, I can say, 10 years ago, when I see this kind of question, right, I know there is a question like this will come up, but since uh, SPM didn't come out this kind of question before, so I've been making fun of this kind of question, you know. Everybody, imagine if there is a pointer, okay, I just simply say on here, just an idea, imagine there is a point there, and let's say this point is like object. Then I've been laughing there, you know, I say, wow, object, this point, ma, if I say scale factor two, you know it will be two times bigger. Ma. So I've been laughing at the question. I say, oh, I know the point you put two times bigger. I've been laughing at the question, you know, until, until, I forget which year already, it suddenly come up this question in point related question, you know. I know there's a question like this, it's just that I've been making fun of it. La. So it comes up. Then student come in front of me and say, teacher, you say it won't come out, <laughs> then come out already, okay. So in the end, it come out, comes out. Lah. Okay, so I have to mention carefully, okay, on this part to everybody. So before I start reading the question there. And by the way, question number 10, right? After I go through with some of the, uh, my, my own tutors team. Uh, so we have been discussing the question as well as I go and find a few YouTubers teacher. We discussed like, hey, wait, why the answer so weird? Huh? Because my answer is in decimal point format, right? Okay, then when they do it, it's like they have the same answer as mine. So I'm like, okay, confirm this question got problem. Okay, confirm ready. Now, so that's why I asked, okay, how you all get this answer? Ah, uh, yes, there is decimal point. That's the point. Now, so how you get it? Okay, see, let's do it. So enlargement, uh, everyone, enlargement, of course, there is two types. Uh, one, one, you have this positive and negative part. We are talking about this positive version. Uh. Now, so everyone, Let's say, um, okay, let me draw like one Cartesian plane, one big one, so you can have a look at it, okay? So if let's say you see this kind of question in your SPM, what you do? For me, I will treat it as the last question, you know, because I'm a, I'm a person where it's kind of like visual type, man. I need to draw a lot of things to, to listen to it, uh, what listen, to look at it. So if let's say you can imagine it, okay, go ahead. But if let's say you can't, then better you finish up the whole thing, then this one you treat it as your last question. Okay, so you see how I do it, huh? Okay, so first of all, we have this y and x. So I draw it out, you know. Of course, you treat it as your last question, it will be better. Lah. But before I read the question, let me introduce a bit on how to perform. How to perform enlargement in a point. Let's say, let's say the given uh, center of enlargement is one, two. Okay, so I put it over here like one, two, one, two, it's here. So that's the center of enlargement. Okay, so listen carefully, huh? this one is from your previous first set of state paper, Penang paper, okay, because a few a few students sent me this and say, the teacher, why, why this one, weird on the answer, I cannot find it, okay, now, so after you get this center of enlargement, right, and let's say there is an object where I already give it to you, let's say the object, it's over here, that's the object, so everyone, the scale factor given by the question, it's two, for example, so k equals two, and you know, scale factor gonna be two times bigger. Of course, you don't take the point, you make it two times bigger. Lah, huh? Okay, so how are we gonna look at it? Number one, for me, right? For me, right? I'm gonna use this way to explain first. If let's say you can't, you say that teacher, I don't really get what you mean. I will let you see another type of methods. Okay, so method number one first. Huh? So everybody, do you see from center to object, this line, 
there is this so-called one unit you see this whole thing is like one unit can you see that can you see that not okay so if i'm gonna say a total of skill factor two some student will say teacher then the answer will be two but I don't want to say the answer first. I want you to try it out. So let me write some numbers there. Okay, then you try them out. Okay, everyone. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So I give you a good 10 seconds. Okay. Get me your image answer if my skill factor is 2. You try the previous previous class, right? They have been getting two different answers, okay. But it's like fixed two answer, and so I want to see whether you can get the answer or not. Okay, so there is forty four students here. You can try it out. Okay, come. Uh, this one is our first set of state paper. Uh, so you just look at it because I draw some pictures for you to visual already, right? Uh, so you can find where's your answer. So you just take your, uh, take your what's it called? Your magic finger, just point there and try try to do the answer. Okay, not bad. Uh, what I see? Fact. Hmm. Hmm. Hui En, try again. Ken Go, correct. Hmm. Can I give you another ten more seconds? Come. Then I give you like another thirty seconds. Ah, okay, give you some time to think about it. Uh, so for students that. You are looking at this question, be careful. Huh? Uh, okay, what is the meaning of scale factor two? It means two times bigger, right? You're right, two times bigger. So where is it? Where is the two times bigger? Adrian, correct, come next. Uh, Elden, you have to try again. But Elden, Elden, your skill is it's on the correct track, you know? But it's just that it's a bit over already. Yongzen also. Correct track, but over already. This is what I did in my first first attempt. Okay, during my form five. Okay, during my form five, it's like so many years ago. Okay, this is my first attempt. Then yes, Yongzen, that will be the correct answer. Okay, so the other answer they give me correct. And Chenson correct. Ah, come. No worries, go ahead and try it up. Okay, this particular video I'll make it into YouTube video so you can refer it refer it back again. Okay. Yeah, correct. Okay, so now Yongzi also correct. Ah, okay. So I repeat the question a bit. Uh, Monisha, correct. Very good. Okay, so the question is: there is a center of enlargement at one two, and there is an object at four four. So by using a scale factor of two, two times bigger, ma, So where it's the new point, the image? Ah, that's my question. So everybody, so this is how I look at it. So method number one, uh, can you see this is like one box? Let's say I treat these six box at one box for this line that I draw. So if let's say you were to perform a scale factor of two, so what you do is you just do two times of it. Uh, but two times of it, you're going to make sure you start from the center. The center. Yes, you're right, from COE. So one, okay, I use another color. It will be easier for you to differentiate. Uh. So one and two. So that's my answer. So that Joanne correct. Ah, okay. So your answer will be seven and six. You got it. So if I say, if I say, hey, everybody, can you get me uh, how with scale factor of three? So you go back to center, you do like one, two, and three. So your answer will be 10, eight. That's why a few students get me, yes, 10, eight. And then another group of students get me seven, six. So luckily there is no different other type of answer. So it means uh, you understand the concept of how it goes. It's just that you pick up the wrong point only. So it's a good thing. So now you know, uh, start from the center. Okay, everyone start from the center. So that's how I look at it. Okay, so anyone not okay, you let me know. So I can use another way to uh, explain it to you. Uh, nope, Yongzhen, the answer is not that. In a while, you will know already. Uh, because this one is to make sure you know first. Ah, okay. So far, okay, not. So if let's say okay, then you put okay and move to the question really. Huh? So that's the idea that you need to know. Okay. So I'm gonna take all these things away, all these things away because this one is like example for you to understand the enlargement that relates to points. Okay, points. So now I will take it away. 
Okay, I'll take it away. Now, so I take it away. So I make this smaller and start reading the question and put the information into the given graph. Okay, the given graph. Okay, so now, so kawan kawan sekalian. Okay, wait up, wait up. My brother messaged me. Very, very important to listen. Um, I've passed, okay, call Gary. Okay, now, so everybody, question 10, I read, huh? So given point E, given point E, so I start reading first, given point E is the object, okay? E is the object, so I write it over here, E is the object, huh? Of point F, so F is the what, everyone? F is the image. And F is 8, 8. So everyone, I will straight away go to the picture and start plotting my 8, 8 and put 8, 8. Uh, it's over here. Lah. And I straight away put like, this is my object. No, 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 no. This is an image. Uh, this is my point F. Okay, so far, okay, no, see, so I start pointing it. Okay, plotting it. Then after this, they did mention that it's an enlargement with a scale factor of 3. So I will place here as enlargement, scale factor, okay, scale factor, I just write it nicely. Lah. Of course, in your exam, don't do all this uh, useless thing. Lah. So just think about it and then start doing them already. So the scale factor being three, three times way, then your center of enlargement given x, y. Eh? What's that? x, y don't have also. Huh? Okay, then don't care about that. Okay, because now currently we have one point only. So the rest of it, just ignore it first. Then I continue reading it. I notice that it says when a point E, so it looks like E happens one more time. So when a point E, so I put it one more time over here. Lah. So I make it like to the top a bit. Then I start writing the information one more time. So it says E. Okay, when a point E is rotated, it's the same point, right? Is rotated under rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise about origin A, eh? obviously that's a rotation really, right? But let's identify the image object uh, points first. Uh. They say that E is rotated. So E is the object, uh. okay? Then uh, who else? Uh, w is the image. And looks like W is given as negative two and five. So there's a point there where I can plot it. So negative two will be negative one, negative two, and then five is over here. So that's my W point. And that's the image. So I put that as the image. Okay. So uh, of course, E, we don't have it. But they say that this is a very obvious rotation because they did mention about it. Rotation of DAR based on what I memorized with you. Your direction, it's anti-clockwise. Okay, direction anti-clockwise. And your angle, it's 90 degree. Rotation point origin, fantastic. So I have my origin here, zero, zero. Okay, so now everyone, do you notice they give you negative two phi as the image? Image. So you're gonna find the object where you're gonna work backwards, right? So if you're gonna work backwards, it means you're gonna go clockwise, right? right? So I'm gonna make it bigger and draw from W to center. And I remember for rotation-wise, uh, point-related, I have a total of how many videos in YouTube? I have two, okay? Two rotation videos, right now. Okay, if I'm not basically, I have two rotation videos, okay, in, in YouTube videos. So in the playlist, you can find it, okay? You can find it from there. Right? So there is like specific on how to how to solve it using like uh, compass way, la, okay? The, the forbidden way, as well as the ruler. Oh, sorry, three videos, uh, huh? Okay, so I'm going to use the what? I'm going to use the ruler way, okay? The ruler way. So I'm going to draw a ruler, okay? A ruler over here like this. Okay, a ruler. Ah, so this ruler comes out already. And since uh, your answer is to get object and you're going to go clockwise, you have the image, ma, you have to go clockwise to get the object, right? So you go clockwise, this is the center. So, okay, let, let me draw like roughly a circle first, uh, everyone. Okay, let me take this. A ruler away for a while. Huh? Okay. So you know roughly, uh, if let's say based on a huge circle, I just roughly draw a huge circle here. You know, if you go clockwise, 
if I roughly draw a cross, you know the answer is roughly over here already. Eh? Wait, Lisa, okay, right? Uh, Monisha, yes, you can go ahead, use your creativity, no problem. Uh, okay, so let's say I'm gonna use the ruler way. So I know the answer is roughly there, right? So I'm gonna place my ruler there already. So I erase it, I erase all this. I know my answer roughly there already. So I take up my ruler. So I place it nicely Wait, let me use another color so it will be easier for you to look at it. So I use pink heart, for example. So I just place it nicely. Okay, place it nicely. Okay, like this. So now everyone, let's count the right angle triangle like how we use, okay, you use the rotation way in, in, in the YouTube video. Huh? So you can search that, okay, Liangjie Mathematics rotation. There's three videos for you to choose, okay? So when you look at it, you you count the you count the what's called the unit difference, okay? The right angle triangles. You notice that there will be like one, two, three, four, five, and one, two. You do the same thing, and as long as it hits the ruler, then you know that's the answer already. So it will be like one, two, three, four, five, one, two. You see, it's a five, two, five, two relationship. Imagine if you go two, five, huh? How can it be? It goes like inside the ruler already. I need to hit the ruler side to get the 90 degree. Ah, so you see this is the 90 degree. So I know the answer is over here already. Right? Okay, after I rotate, I basically do like, how say, a backwards one, you know, okay? So I take this away. I know my answer is there already. So I erase all this irrelevant stuff. Lah. Okay, so this one, irrelevant one. So I erase it. Okay, all this, all this thing I don't want already. So I know my answer already is there. So I place it, that's my E point, that's the object. Ah, that's the object, you can see that. Okay, so everyone, once you get that, do you notice the ultimate goal is to get, you see, find the value of X, Y, which is the so-called center of enlargement. And remember just now I talk about scale factor, the idea you put it back over here and it says, uh, look at the questions. Uh. The questions say it's a scale factor of three. Three. Cry nine. So it means, uh, it means uh, when I come over here, just by referring to this particular picture, now I'm going to draw a very long line using, uh, let's say I use a very bright color, yellow. Uh. So I draw a very long line. Okay, everyone. Do you notice if I say, scale factor of three, it will be starting from a center, center to your image, okay? You're gonna move a total of three parts, three so-called units. Remember the method that I mentioned just now? So you notice that over here supposed to be how many units? Okay, tell me. From center to image gonna be three, right? How if I say from object to image, it gonna be how much? Based on the method that I mentioned just now, Hui Wen correct, Hui Wen correct. Ah, tell me him. You see the idea or not? Yung Zen correct. Okay, I say it one more time. Huh? So from center up to image, supposed to be three so called big units, right? Not? Scale vector three, ma, three times. Ma? Ah, so if you look at, you look at your object to image, huh? it's gonna be two only. So you notice that A, A, if I cut into two equal parts, right? You see one and two, huh? you're gonna use the same unit and apply it from object. So you look at this, you're gonna stop here. So this is your center of enlargement. You get another unit over here, like one, two, and three. So your answer being what? So I make it bigger now, you look at the answer. Can you see the answer is not even one of the A, B, C, D? Cry not. The answer is supposed to be what? The answer is supposed to be, when you look at it, you read the answer, it's 3.5. And over here, it will be negative one. So this is supposed to be the X and Y answer for your enlargement. Okay, so that's how you get the answer. Lah. Okay. Now, so everyone, okay, everyone, I'm going to move to the next one, okay?